Hey, what's up block fam in the garage today? The bike that's sitting in front of me does not belong to me. It belongs to <laughs> Captain Ian. <laughs> belongs to Captain Anna. <laughs> Were you was that planned? You just, I just thought about it. As, it as I was, to me in the moment. Yeah, as I was sitting here talking, doing the introduction, yeah. you're like, fairing face. <laughs> so that is Captain Anna, guys. Go follow her, link right here, as well as in the description down below. So today, we are working on her Harley Davidson Iron 883. She did previously have a fairing on it, which was from Burley, I believe. But a company recently contacted me about a fairing that they are now making available for the Sportster. It is an incredibly popular fairing. I have one on my Harley Davidson Softail Lowrider S, and that is a fairing from Memphis Shades. There you go. This is what this was the uh, hardware kit which we have all in package and it's all right here. So the Road Warrior fairing is now available for the Harley Davidson Iron 883 or the Sportsters. So in this video, Captain Anna and I are going to be showing you guys how to install it and what it looks like on an iron. So normally I do the unboxing in the actual video that you know, we're uh, in doing the install in, however, Memphis Shades sent this fairing to me and uh, we thought it was for the Dyna that we're giving away here. But whenever we took it out and we put the uh, fork clamps on, we quickly realized it was not for a Dyna and uh, it was for a, a smaller bike and realized this is the one that Memphis Shades has been talking to me about for the Sportster. So I asked Anna if she wanted to install it on hers and she said, yeah. yeah. I'll drop a real quick clip of us unboxing all that. Open. Boop. So we got the hardware, extension block, main part of the fairing, and windshield. We went with the, uh, what, 11 inch vented? Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing. Check out the description below for all that info. Let's unpackage it again. We don't need no stinking directions. Just kidding, we do. <laughs> We're just walking you guys through and showing you how to install it on a Sportster. So it's a pretty straightforward install. Hardware is basically the clamps that go around the forks, a couple little pieces for the extensions, and then you've got this block for the headlight extension as well. So that's gonna go in, in here in some orientation, push the headlight out so that it sets in front of the fairing. And then you do have the fairing over there. Ta -da! And then you also have the windshield. We did the 11 inch vented, just cause it gives it kind of like, it just gives it a little bit more of an aggressive look. So first things first, we are gonna go ahead and extend the headlight bucket out. So this is a diagram of how all that works. I'm gonna take the piece right here and it looks like it goes in this orientation. So let's get to doing that. Step one is gonna be removing this little piece. I do recommend using something that's not gonna scratch your paint. Then you want a 19 millimeter socket. I'm gonna undo that nut. And drop it. Ta -da. All right, that drops out. Keep your stock hardware. And we'll just leave it loose for now. So that's a one and one eighth spherical washer. You got the one inch spherical washer, and then you got the nylon lock nut. The next part we're doing is we are putting the uh, clamps on the forks. So Anna has cleaned those up, wiped them down just because you don't want any dirt or anything to get in between those and the forks. So with these, you want the nylon part, the part that the fairing goes around to be on the outside of the fork. So outside here, and then on the other side, it would be like that. And then you want them to be facing forward like that. So with the Sportster forks, or with the 883, I guess you should say, it's gonna go on the second uh, opening there and you get that on there by basically sliding it. So it's gonna be like here, kind of overlap that, right? And it slides just like that. And then you're gonna tighten here. So like, take the bolt. All right, and you're just gonna lightly thread it just to get it started so that pretty much holds itself up. And then uh, we're just gonna leave these loose for now so that we have some adjustability.
Just like that, and repeat on the other side. Anna did have her indicators here, so they were basically mounted like that, but stock, they come on the bars. So if you guys have them stock, you shouldn't have to worry about relocating them. So with Anna's, with the fairing that she did have, I'm relocated them to the forks, but now with the new Memphis shades, we're gonna be relocating them. If you have stock, don't worry about it. If you don't have stock and you need to relocate, then obviously look up whatever hardware you need to relocate them to you know, if you're gonna put them up here, if you're gonna put them on the bottom of the forks, lots of spots that you can relocate them to. So next up, we are ready to go ahead and grab the fairing to line everything up. So we have to line up the mounting brackets here, as well as the headlight. After we have that all kind of lined up, we will start to tighten down. These are basically like quick release uh, brackets here. So getting this all mounted up to here, we did film that in a previous video, which I'll show you guys right here. We're gonna be putting these brackets onto the actual fairing piece. I'll lay down a towel so I don't scrape it. You're gonna wanna take apart these pieces here on the ends, loosen those up. So after you have them apart, you're gonna wanna take this little rubber grommet off and you're gonna wanna put that little rubber grommet in the hole, right? So basically like I've done over here. So you just kind of work the rubber grommet through. There you go. Same with the other one. And then you're gonna run this piece through the outside into the fairing like that. You're gonna take the bracket, put it here, tighten it down with the hardware. So after we've got those brackets mounted onto there, we're ready to go ahead and put them on the forks. You're gonna open up these, uh, what they call like the trigger locks. So you basically pull outwards and you press back to open them up. And then whenever you close them, they come down and they latch, right? So they don't go back up. After you've got those all done up, tighten them down. So let's go ahead and get those all tightened up. All right, so fun fact with the extensions or the relocation brackets that we have, we were actually able to relocate Anna's uh, signals from here down to here on the bottom of the triple. So that's cool. So next point, uh, we've got all the hardware up. The extension on so we're gonna basically take the fairing put it here line everything up and then we're gonna tighten everything down whenever you're putting them on you want to pull it forward press them up so that they're open and then we're going to line everything up and then clip them on so you line the bottom up with the bottom and the top with the top and the larger opening this does take a little bit back and forth man that's perfect relocating it to the bottom fork yeah look at that. that's really good so yeah basically it's just all really loose right now so we can move it up and down and then we should have some adjustability in this that's pretty much good we just need to have it centered um, there's no adjustability up and down for the headlight so we just need to center the fairing up so it's pretty much just pushing it down pretty much tighten everything down as it sets and then we'll remove the fairing and then we'll tighten the headlight bracket stuff. So now we have these tightened down on both sides. So we are going to undo the quick release pieces here. It comes off just like that. So these are tightened, good to go. So we basically need to center and tighten up all the stuff for the headlight. All right, after you get that one tightened up, put that little trap door back on. Muscles. All right, so one of the uh, last things we need to do is use the nylon bolts and nuts that they send you. Um, now you're not supposed to use tools with these. You basically put the windshield here and you're gonna line that up, put those through and tighten. So you want the uh, flush part of the bolts on the outside and the thumb part of the nut on the inside. All right, so we got it all, windshield all done up. Now, last step is to just mount it back up. So line everything back up, bottom first. There you go. What do you think? I can't wait to like ride, actually ride with it and like see the difference. It's so much bigger than the one I had on, you know? Legit, legitty legit. All right, so go ahead and sit on it and see like how your eye level is with the windshield. Man, you're looking way over it. Now they sell like higher, if I wanted to switch this out, they sell different windshields, yeah. right? So this is an 11 inch, they also sell the 13. And then I think they go up to like 15 or maybe even taller than that, but you're on the low end in yeah. terms of the height. So you could probably stand to go to the next or even the next. Thanks, Mountain Shades. Yeah. Yeah.
So that's how you install a Memphis Shades Road Warrior on a Harley Davidson Sportster. If you guys have any questions on it, be sure to check out the link down in the description below. I'll be sure to link you guys to Memphis Shades. If y'all hit them up, be sure to tell them that Blockhead sent you and they'll be sure to take care of you. It was a pretty straightforward install. How, how hard would you say that is? Man, that was so, like honestly so easy. The clamps that go around the forks, super easy to install, um, not tedious at all. And just lining up like, so like really straightforward, so easy. All right. Well, if you guys have any questions, drop them down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If uh, you guys aren't subscribed already, you wanna see more content like this, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon also, so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Hell yeah. <laughs> Part of that Bell Yell Squad. <laughs> you guys want to follow Captain Anna, you want to keep up with her and her bike, check her out on Instagram at Captain Anna. I'll drop the link right here on the screen as well as down in the description below. And big thanks to Anna for lending her bike so that we could install the fairing on it. Well, it was my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no problem. All right, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.